Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. I do that all the time, Cove. We are looking at shoes, y'all. Yes, we are. <clears throat> I'm going to let some go. And y'all, these are my winter, fall kind of shoes. You know what I mean? Um, rain shoes, cold weather shoes. Not my spring, not my dress shoes, not that kind of thing. All right, so we're going to go through them. Pair by pair. Hey guys, so, um, yeah, I used to keep my winterist kind of shoes downstairs on the landing um, in this empty bench, but that's going to be for the, the future roomie. So, let's go through. Let's see what is easy for me to give to the food bank, what's challenging. And again, I love shoes. And I think, too, being plus size, that I could always wear shoes, right? Um, my feet weren't like a problem. I was a 10, but when I was young, it was a problem, but you know. So I think that was like, you know, purses, shoes, accessories, right? That was something that didn't matter my size um, in the sense that there was nothing there for me to choose from. Okay. So that I think is part of it. Part of it, I shop unconsciously and don't remember what I have. And that I'm working on changing. And I have started to change it. I've gone through a little rough period, but, um, you know, it's all about dopamine hits, y'all. It's about changing your mood. It's not about shoes, not about Dollar Tree, but it, you get a hit. And that's why people watch people shop, because you get you get the hit, too. But that's a whole other story <laughs> or thought system. But we're starting with shoes, y'all. Okay. I have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. No, 33. So we're starting with 33 pounds. Now, I tried to do like with like, but let's start with the ones I know I don't feel good in and that I can let go. And this might be all I do, you guys. But these shoes are Skechers and they're super cute, but they're so heavy that. I just, you know, they're barely worn, um, but I can't. They're 10. They are just way too clunky for me. The day has come, y'all, where clunky shoes are not my friend. Okay. Uh, these. Aren't they cute, y'all? They're cute. Little rain boots. With their cat says meow. They don't fit right. They're tight. And now I would for sure have to put like some kind of foot thing in there for my arch. So they're not going to work. They're going to go. Okay. So let's see here. Um, had these forever. Never wore them. Um, and it actually, you know, the heel's coming off a little bit. But I'm going to let the people who get it. Because it will derail me getting rid of them. I have to fix them. Perfect condition. They just need a little glue on the heel. Let it go. Oh my God, the whole thing came off, y'all. But you know what? I pretty much think that can be glued on. I don't know. It's E6000. I'm not sure. We'll see if somebody has to mention it to Joe. Okay, sorry. Um, again, super cute. Like, literally did not wear them out of the house. I just, I don't know. I like the look of people wearing boots, and I don't like it on me. I just, that's the truth. And I'm not sure I'll wear that. And somebody else could be wearing them. So that's pair four. Hmm. What do you think, Clara? These I love. Again, they're bionic, so they have the arch in it, the support. <coughs> um, but they don't feel right. For whatever reason, I'm going to let those go. Okay. 
So now, okay, these. Y'all, these are the modern earth shoes. Y'all remember earth shoes back in the day? They're so cute. They don't fit right. And honestly, even this heel right now, I'm not comfortable with. They are, doesn't say what they are, size 10. I'm just going to love them. I love that color. I wish I felt good wearing them, and I don't. All right. So here we go. A whole bag of shoes. Now, these I'm going to give to a friend. They're 11, so they're a little too big for me. I mean, I, they're so cute, aren't they? Little cat paws. But I know my friend will like them. And, yeah, she's an older friend. She lost her husband. She just hired um, St. Slavers. So those are going to go to her. All right, let's go. Let's do, oh, my gosh, y'all. The kind of boots, like rain boots. Okay, these are my garden boots, y'all. Love them. They're staying. These are also my lower garden. Angela gave them to me. Aren't they cute? Actually, used, should be cleaned, but I'm keeping them. <coughs> Back in the day, you guys, my dad loved totes. So these are dirty laundry. I love these things too. Ten. I think I'm going to clean the other two pair and keep them for the garden, and these will be my rain boots. Because I have limited space, but I do have some storage off-site. Like, some of the really thick shoes right now, I, I'm not going to wear until it gets colder. Okay, so let's regroup. Oh, here's one more pair. Love these things. Um... See, I have short, I have medium, and tall. J. Jill. They totally faded. I'm going I'm to let them go. It's, uh, okay. I'm going to let them go. It's okay. We're all okay here. Okay. So that's like eight pair. I'm doing good. That might be the end of it, though. Um... So these are like my good um, just walking around winter shoes. If I'm going to take a walk, I'll probably use those. And these, I don't think I've worn too much, but these are perfect like cleaning snow boots, you guys. So I don't think I need them up right now, but I'm going to keep them. They're just going to go off site. I keep my shoes. I don't know if you can see it. That's a shoe thing right there. Because they're handy. Okay, let's do kind of the booty thing. So these are nice winter. Keep your feet warm. They are emery and they're probably a size 10 more than likely. Yeah, I'm going to keep those. These are my, I love these shoes and I would buy them again. As you can see, they're just like worn out wear them constantly you know that's what you tend to do wear the same shoes so they're 10 i don't know i felt like they were sketchers oh they're right though i'm sure these were from the qvc and i just can't watch it i'm gonna keep these up here now because now's the time for those shoes can y'all see them look how cute those bows are these are comfort view and, you know, I think that they've always been just a little big. They're 10 WW. They're called the Rachel. So, I love them, but I'm not going to wear them. I'm going to wear shoes that don't fit because, you know, they're going to go. Okay. Here's another of these boots. I'm going to try them. I love the color, y'all. And um, I, can't, I think they're 10. I don't know. Isn't it funny how some shoes are 10 and they fit? Most of my shoes, though. Go Gamai or something. Anyway, those are going off site for now, but I'm keeping them. All right, y'all. Hold on a second. And then there were none. Okay. I found these. Uh, again, 
I wear these kind of things and it's just the winter all the time. Sketchers. You know, I will, I'm going to keep them. What I'm going to do is wear them. And, you know, I'm going to wear every pair of these shoes out of the house and see how they do. If I like them, they're comfortable. If there's one thing off, I'm going to let them go. But I, I want to try them first. The ones I've let go of, I know. And then these are sort of transitional shoes, y'all. I put my color, the lighter colors down. These are my Skechers. Love these things, y'all. I am like a Skechers girl. Better or worse. Again, different Skechers. And you really can wash these, you guys. And Skechers. These are kind of probably their last season, you know. And I take it back. I might allow myself to buy one pair of comfortable black shoes like that, but not today. Okay. These are used to be really nice and they're my bum shoes like going to the car going to get mail that kind of thing i have two pair i have this pair and i have this pair now does someone want this pair i don't know they could definitely um put you know shoe polish on here i didn't think i was gonna do this y'all but i'm gonna let these go somebody else could use them they're good solid shoes and I'm going to keep this pair. My idea is like, oh, yeah, you'll, you know, polish them up. and But, you know, I just, I keep them tucked under here, and I use them all the time. You know, I'm doing better than I thought. I'm proud of myself. I know what, I told you shoes, why I'm, you know, they mean something to me. And they always make me feel cute. Oh, God. Okay. Honestly... Keeping protein in my system, y'all. I want to improve on that because it helps me. Okay. These are newer, and y'all, I'm wearing, I would have bought another pair. I think I looked, I couldn't find them. They're Spence Coat. Love these things. I thought when I first got them, I hated them. I love them. Wearing them to death, right? So, keeping those. All right. Let's do some confession. I bought these two pair in the last three months. Love them. I got this pair and this pair I'm going to keep at home because, you know, you don't want to get all kinds of gunk on your shoe and walk around your house. I usually have everyone take their shoes off when they come in, but these are going to be out there. I just, these are like moon boots y'all back in the day in the seventies, eighties. Love them. Love me a slip on y'all. They're staying. They're staying, but they're my house shoes kind of right. My house messing around. Okay, these are going to go in a pile to try. I haven't worn them. I don't really have brown shoes. This is probably, these are cloud walkers. Probably the only pair I have. And I like to, they have that little, like that. Um, but you know, some of these shoes I have to put an arch support in and that makes them too tight. But these are going to go in my tri pile and wear them. And of course, I'm going to have an extra pair in my car in case they end up not being. Okay. These I love y'all. These I have, I have. Three more pair of chucks of high top pink from my, really from, from high school, college. And I have a heart pair and then I can't remember what this other pair is. So I know right now Chuck All Stars will kill my feet. So I have to, I'm going to have to put in, um, actually I might do this today. Put in my arch support and wear them around. Because if they're not going to work that way, if they're too tight, I'm going to let them go. And I'm going to let the other ones, except my pink pair, be buried in my pink ones. Y'all, God, Chuck's wear everything. Okay, so I'm actually probably put them on today because I've got to drag crap outside and move my car, get my mail, um, all that kind of stuff. Okay, these are Skechers and I think they were a mistake. Right? And I missed the day to return them. I'm going to try them. I'm going to try. I love the green pattern, y'all. How cute are these, right? But I'm going to wear them and see, because there's no point if they're not comfortable for me to keep them. I'm not sure what that's about. But if I really can't wear them, somebody else can. I'm going to let them go. But that's going to go in my pile to try. Seriously, there's only three shoes in that pile. 
These are the walk-in shoes I keep at home. They're great walk-in shoes. They're supportive. I find them unattractive. They're ortho heel. But that's what I need when I take my walk, y'all. So I'll wear those tonight. I don't know. I want to film the Halloween stuff. I'm not sure how overcast it is here. Okay. So now we're down to three pair of tennis shoes. Running shoes. I don't know what y'all call them. These are Skechers, of course. Flex. And I love them. I get more compliments when I wear them. They're comfortable. They're perfect. I will wear them out. And the funny thing is because they're so colorful, you really can't tell that they're worn out. So that's a keeper. These y'all, my new balance and I adore. Look how cute. Look how fun. I love these shoes. The only thing I should do is change the shoelaces because these are round. You guys, they don't, they don't stay. It's annoying. I've been triple through them. Um, but yeah, I've been not wearing them as much, but I've started putting them in the rotation. And y'all, these are my Starsky and Hutch shoes. And y'all gonna know what I mean. I've had them. Starsky and Hutch, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's what Starsky wore. I was a Starsky girl all the way. God, I love Paul Michael Glazer. I love Starsky so much. One of my first major crushes. But they're not going anywhere. They're Adidas. I read. Everyone should have at least one pair. I have like kind of two pairs. Anyway, love them. Keeping them. Okay. So I'm going to um stop for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the ones that I'm not going to wear right now in the place where I think they should go. Then I'm going to put my other shoes away. I'm going to start wearing these and then I'm going to meet you back here and figure out how I'm going to put them away and then I've got a few other things for um food bank so I want to count those towards my 25 and I have a quilt I have a really cool backpack so yeah so I'll meet you back there but let me go put some shoes away y'all Okay, guys, so I put the winter stuff off site. I found another pair of shoes. What do I do with them now, y'all? Here they are. Some New Balance. I'm not sure why they're there. I'm going to put them in the maybe pile and see if I like them. So, yes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs going, y'all. Nine pairs of shoes. So I honestly thought there was going to be five, but nine, I don't know what's nine out of what was it? 33, 34. That's not bad. And I have three or four pair will be maybes. My chucks fit. They're feeling good so far. I'm going to wear them the rest of the night and see, or do you outgrow chucks? I don't think so. I'll be a cool old woman with my chucks and then my hair can match my chucks, right? Okay. So we're going to start. I think I left 15 on the other one. Let's do that. Let's just say 15. 17, 17, 18, 19. Ooh, those things, y'all. I tell you, they're heavy. They're heavy. Okay, so that's 19. And there's one pair I'm not sure about. So I'm going to keep them. I love these things, y'all. I'm going to keep them. I just can't. Keep them for now. So that's 20, 21, 22, and then these I'm going to put. Excuse me. 23. I'm going to put these in here. So that is understood that it's there. I don't know. Why is glue, y'all think? What did I say? 23? <clears throat> I think I already counted these. I'm not sure. Um, two hangers. 2, 3, 24, 25. 
and this is just a um pillowcase i don't know if anyone wants it but i'll just throw that in so we'll call that 25 which i think puts me to 14.75 y'all i'm gonna try to get 25 more done not tonight but by the time i go back to work okay so i got like, three trips to my car So those things are good to go. Okay. So the two things I have right now are I'm not sure how this okay. Look how cute this backpack is. It's kind of drawn like a cartoon. I don't know, y'all. I never did use it. I don't know if I want to use it. It has a good security though where the zipper's in the back. I'm gonna think about it. I haven't seen it, of course, the minute you see it. I don't know. I'm gonna um I'm gonna think about it. Now I don't know. So I have hopefully Angela's friends coming over. And I think I'm gonna let them look at this quilt. So it's I she didn't do it, but it's something she gave me. So, I don't, I have the best one I love. Okay, she, I made her give it to me like three years ago. Um, and I have, I think I had that one, which I'll show you. I have two others. So, I don't really, you know, but I don't want to give it away if someone wants it because it was Angela's. So, for now, that's going to go in that pile. And... Yeah, so we're just gonna call that 25. Yeah. So that's 475 things, y'all. Cooking. Cooking with gas. <sighs> Up to 10,000. You know, part of to my decluttering is I wanna touch everything I own. Yeah. And it's gonna take a process. But now in the laundry room, I touched every single thing down there, you guys. I made a decision. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take some time. I'll put you on maybe a f it's time lapse. I would say fast forward, but it's kind of like that. And see how the heck I'm going to get these things together in here. Then I'm going to go ahead and drag all this stuff to the food bank, not let my brain say, oh, you can do it in the morning. No, because I need to go around front and get some more recycling and trash, get my mail, get my car back in the garage. So will be my last little hurrah and then um what time is it y'all it is 5 16 since i finished by six i'm gonna have some dinner take an hour have some dinner y'all and then i'm going to um i am going to let's see i really want to work on that Eula Popkin, getting that back, which I need to call them and ask them something. I should just return it and write a note and say, can you send me this one in this size? And here's my name and address. And really that should go. I have a gifts for Amy Jo to go. Yeah, I think, cause that stuff that's here on my floor, that will be gone. So I don't have to manage, I don't have to put it somewhere. I should manage it once, get it out. Good intentions, y'all. I have them, but I want to work, and I'm doing better on my follow through, and that's okay. I, you know, it's sometimes you can't, you can't, but I think that's what I'm gonna do, you guys. And then, like I said, tomorrow I want to get up, return the shirt to Walmart, um, go to the food bank, get gas first, y'all, for my slew shop. So, and then, um, let me think this through, y'all. I definitely tomorrow want to try my clothes I got from the Avenue because I really want to return them if I don't like them. And then in my kitchen, I bought up my pink basket. Let's see if I can show. See, those are their um, containers, right? So as I'm sort, I'll mark what it is, but I just want everything in my kitchen that's not like for my kitchen sorted into these tubs and labeled and anything that's super important 
that is going to go in a bag and those I'm going to take care of. But I think for me, I have to do sort of like a first sort, like just kind of, because to take out of that kind of chaos and a thing and say, okay, what do I do with this? It's too much for my brain. But when I can contain and have categories, then I can, it's easier for me to go through. And then I can prioritize. And at the end of the day, if there's stuff in there I really don't need to go through right now, they can go down in my studio. But ultimately, these will be emptied and then I will start on my library and sort into these, right? There's gonna be a lot of Christmas stuff. Actually, I need to ask Zachy if he wants some of the frames. So I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And then I kind of, so if I'm off from six to seven, I wanna work to seven to eight, to like nine. Now y'all, I work every like a couple times a week till eight. So, and I normally start at like 11.30. So this is a short day for me. I'm gonna have to go back to work to rest you guys. So yeah, so that's where my thoughts are, but definitely tomorrow flu shot and I wanna return this thing to Walmart cause I'll forget it. And then I, I don't wanna incorporate it in my wardrobe. I guess I could give it to the food bank. I don't know, I'm gonna try. And I guess, no, no brainer. Yeah. And the mailbox y'all, really. See when something's like parts, like I have to find everything. I have to, you know, I, if they would only put these damn packing slips, you know, I think when I order something that comes, I'm immediately going to print out a packing slip. And it makes my life easier. Am I going to wear this y'all? Am I going to use this? My other backpack honestly is under like, it's like $20 on Amazon. And when it breaks, I get a new one. Why now? Okay. Let's, let's, let's have a talk. Let's have a talk with myself and y'all. Okay. No judging. No judging. Okay. So it zips up here, which is nice, y'all, for the people. I can't buy a backpack anymore where it, it zips on the outside. No. Okay. This is freaking cute, right? It's like a comic book kind of drawing. I know. I got this before my mother died. Let's say I got it two years before my mother died. We're going, we're on year, I don't know, five and a half, whatever, six. Seven. Let's say I've had it eight years, okay? Never once used it. I've known where it is. Never once used it. Eight years. Now it's in my hand, y'all. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I mean, it's cute. Absolutely. One, it's a little bigger than what I want to carry. And whatever it was at that moment has passed. And what I need to do is let the moments pass without buying anything. So here's what I'm going to do. You comment, keep or donate. And if the keep or more than the donate, I'll keep it. If the donate or more than the keep, I will donate. And there's only going to be the really hardcore people who watch me this far. So yeah, you guys, do I keep it or do I donate it? Put it in the comments, you guys. <sighs> yeah, so let me grab this little, this is about a half hour project. Get it done and get some dinner. You know, get some dinner. Okay. Um, Claire's watching me. She loves the commotion, but she don't want to be too close to me because I will grab her and kiss up her head. That little tiny head, I'll kiss it up, y'all. All right, I'll see you somewhere, sometime, maybe today.